Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Find and Replace. Now, Find and Replace is a great feature to have in any text editor, and definitely a feature that you're going to be using often. So let's get going on this right now. So obviously, Find and Replace is a big part of any text editor. I have some projects open here, and basically, let's say we wanted to find the instances of hello world and change this word hello world to something else. Well, I'm just going to copy it. If you do command F, you'll notice we get this find and we also get replace. So in Atom, command F or control F is not just find, but it's also find and replace. Now we can click find here and it's going to find them or we can click replace and it's going to replace them. So of course I can change this from hello world to Hello, Scott here. And now when I click replace, you'll see it changed the first instance, but it didn't change the second. That's because there's also a replace all button down here in the top right. You can see replace all can also be activated by hitting command enter. And we can hit replace all to see Hello Scott shown here. So we now have Hello Scott in both places. Now, in addition to finding and replacing, we also have some additional options, such as the ability to use a regex pattern. We have the ability to match or not match case. So for instance, if we were to be looking for, let's say the word person, and if match case is on, we can see that it finds person, 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 and if we turn off match case, let's actually look for the word, let's look for the word prop. And without match case on, with it out selected, we can find, and it's going to find the uppercase word prop as well as the lowercase word prop. However, for a match case, it's only going to be finding the lowercase. In addition, we could actually say only find props by selecting this next one only in selection. We can select an area then say find only in this area, and it's only going to find these two out of our entire document. Now we can also have an option for the entire word, which means that it's only going to find things where prop is the entire word. Since we're looking in the selection, it's not finding anything. Let's turn off some of these other modifiers, and you can see that the word prop itself never exists as a just plain word. It's always a part of something like props or prop types. Now, in addition to just simple find and replace, we can also access find in project by command shift F or control shift F if you're on Windows. We can do command shift F. If you'll notice here, we actually have another line here to our interface. Now, if we want to find the word prop in every single JSX file here, we could just say asterisk.jsx and click find. Now, what you'll see is that Instead of getting a highlighted text, we're actually getting the line number and what file this is being found on. So the, it looks like it's only found a couple of props and all of them were in index.html here. So as you can see, it's found on these lines and simply selecting that line will take you to line 16 of index.html, which of what is course this is referencing here. Select this one, it's highlighted at line 45, which is the thing that it found for us. So you can use find and replace to find and replace text across lots of documents, across few documents, or just in the document you're working on. So as you can see, finding and replacing an atom is really super easy and works very similar to what you'd expect with something else like Sublime Text or most text editors that have these features. Either way, what you're looking for is probably here and it's probably easy to access. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you want to access these videos before they're available on YouTube, head to store.leveluptutorials.com. Select Tutorials and you will see the series there where you can purchase for download or you can subscribe to a pro subscription and get access to streaming these videos right now.